Welcome to lesson seven of learning MATLAB. Today we're going to write our own function. And so this is kind of a cool part here. Um, uh, first thing, I did a little house cleaning. I made a second uh, folder here, LinReg2, and I took LinReg1 and I copied it into two different new M files, LinReg2 and just LinReg without any numbers there. So I did that. That's step one for the prelim part here. And then when I, I can go back uh, and go to here to LinReg2, Oop, didn't work. Yep. So now I see these. And the first thing I want to do is I want to um, uh, I want to create a function with Lin, um, a linear regression function. I'm going to do that in the um, the M file LinReg. So a function is not a script. It's a so there are two different there are two different types of M files: a script and a function. So we're going to turn linreg into a function file. I think we don't need all the loading data stuff. We just need the just need the calculations here, right? So when you're making a um, you're making a function, you have to a function m file, you have to start it with um, word function function and then how it's going to get called um, in a script. So we want three outputs to function, um, slope, intercept, R squared, right? So you put in square braces, M, E, R2, equals, and then the function call, lin reg, and the function call name has to match this the name of the M file. That has to be true. And then the inputs, X and Y. And I'm just going to check my work here and just double check because I've got this written down. This is I'm doing this straight out of the handout. So, I mean, you guys just can just see what I did in the handout as well. Right. Yeah. No semicolon. So percent. So, so then um, the below you have to give comments. You have to give what the help would be. Um, if somebody says help linreg, so you you write your own help uh, section to every function you have. So the first thing is that you do an OCAPS function m b r r r two equals linreg. I don't know why it's all caps. That's just a convention. So that when you call, by the way, when you call the function uh, and you, when you say help linreg, it will look for this and it'll print out everything that's in the percents in the comments right below the function declaration. So first you got to, let's do, we're gonna, we want to make this a more general thing. So we'll just say n equals length x. take all that other stuff out that's it that's how you make a function Pr pretty easy huh no return no nothing let me double check just to make sure just to make sure i did it right da, 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 da. yep Um, so that's how that's how you make a um, a function in MATLAB, right? So I'm going to say I'm going to go ahead and I saved it, right? Did I save it? Yep. So now if I do this, if I say help, then reg, oh, that's just, that's just what I just showed it, right? Interesting, right? So um, so that part works, and so now we're going to test whether it, this works. So now I'm I've got linreg, the, the function written. I need to have a script that calls it. So that's going to be in linreg2. So I'd still need to keep all that stuff there. And now instead of all this linear regression calculations here, jump, 
all I have to do is I have to just say m e r two equals lin reg x y. And, and I don't even need to print them out because I'm just going to take the semicolon off and that'll print out all the three values. So and it's not calculations anymore, it's a function call. It's, it's not saved yet, there's the star, so let's save that too. Close them both. Raw data, pause, it prints the answer out, prints the data out, perfect, same thing. Really cool, and this shows how easy it is to program in MATLAB. Boy, is MATLAB easier to program than C. Um, we're going to do a side, soon we're going to be a, do a side lesson where you, um, where we CFI MATLAB code, and just show you how, when you have to, do things like for loops and opening files the hard way and all that stuff, so it'll show you how MATLAB is, has a lot of C's power built into it, although uh, MATLAB is a little slower and has more overhead um, in terms of big, big calculations uh, relative to C. So now we know how to write a function in MATLAB.